hey there today I'm going to show you how to create a woven wheel using embroidery floss so I've already threaded my needle here I'm going to use all six strands to make a nice um, full wheel and we'll get going here so when I draw my wheels on um, I draw on the spokes themselves and I always put a little marker kind of where I want um, the ends of my stitches to be. Um, with this one in particular, if you have one spoke that's slightly longer, your wheel will be a little wonky um, or you'll have to keep working around and around um, to cover the ends of it. So I always like to make sure that these ones are as even as they can be. So starting um, at the outside of a spoke, I like to work from the outside and have them all work into the middle. I'm going to go right into my little line there or the end of your spoke and then into the middle and I'm going to do this with each of the spokes so I'm just going to come from the outside and get right in my spot there and then converging back in the middle Doing this all the way around. to bring my needle up again very close to the center but in between two of the spokes doesn't matter which ones okay and what we are going to do now is we are going to weave over and under our spokes going all the way around um, it doesn't matter if you go clockwise or counterclockwise whichever way you prefer so I'm going to go over that one and under this one over that one under this one over this one and it'll be under that first one that we went over on the first round over under over under and I think you get the idea over under and we're gonna do that around and around and around until we get to a point where we can't really work any more stitches in there. So depending, depending on how big your wheel is, sometimes you can work over and under a few more of them um, at a time. Like I know sometimes I'll go like that just to speed it up a bit. And I like to pull them not super tight, but I like to pull them um, fairly snug as I'm going around just so I can see how my flower will form. These are probably one of my favorite types of flower just because they are so simple and they have such a stunning effect. Um, I love anything that gives you a nice um, 3D design or texture. So these are, these are great and truly so incredibly simple. You just keep weaving over and under and over and under. And I keep going, um, well, you'll see once we get to the end here, I'm gonna keep on weaving um, even after I can barely see my lines anymore just because I, I like to get a really nice um, dimensional flower. Just keep going. So we're never actually working through the fabric as we're weaving over and under our spokes here. Um, all of our stitches in this one stay on top so when you flip your work over afterwards you'll have 
the spokes and that's it. As you get towards the end, um, it does get slightly harder to see where your spokes are. So keep going as best as you can. I'm just putting my needle under and kind of wiggling it until I feel the spoke. But for the most part, we're getting pretty close to the end here. I'm going to keep going though. I want to make sure that I'm covering absolutely all that I can. here. Maybe just another round or two. And then what we can do to finish it off is just do a couple of bigger, bigger um, stitches around the outside of it. Let's see if I can get around one or two more times here. I don't want to have to put on more Thread, but actually I might not need it and I might not even need to do the extra stitches if I keep going around here. Okay, so after this one here. Alright, so actually all of my stitches are covered nicely, um, but what you can do, um, if you notice that you maybe have like one or two spokes that are coming out just a touch and you, they may not be covered, just work a stitch kind of right Work them around here, so go like that, and then don't pull it super tight. Leave it a little bit, um, like leave a little bit of give there, and then coming back in and working another stitch. You can either work it through that one or under it. I'm trying to get under here; it's a little tricky. It wants me to go through. I'm not gonna go through. Okay, and then we're gonna just do another stitch, not too too far, because we don't want them to be messy looking. Do one more, two more to get around here. My thread is getting pretty short. I really don't want to have to. Oopsies. I really don't want to have to put a new thread on just for a couple stitches. So I might have to fake it at the end. is a little too long, I think. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so that is a woven wheel. Aren't they fun? Um, you can always take your needle afterwards and just kind of pull up your stitches if you feel like you need to, but I think that one turned out very nicely.